So here I am. Uh, I woke up Saturday morning and I just wanted to see really what the difference is between this new Elgato app that essentially download on your iPhone and it turns your iPhone into a webcam, which I can then input into Ecamm as a virtual camera, Ecamm Live. Uh, you can do this by Wi-Fi. You can use the front or back camera. I actually decided to connect it directly into USB. Um, and this, what you're seeing right now is my Logitech HD Brio, which I loved. I've always loved. Um, I, pl I plugged them in and the first thing that really shocked me was how just out of the box without any settings, uh, the app on the iPhone just nailed the color, saturation, brightness, everything. This I didn't really fiddle with my lights, so that's why I'm looking a bit ghosty today. It's Halloween. Um, but this is the Brio. And again, this is my regular Logitech web webcam just into USB. I'm going to now switch over to the iPhone uh, webcam, which is now here. Now, it's, it is positioned just slightly higher. I would two, three inches higher. But it does, and a bit further back, but it, it does give you, you know, it shows you. I mean, this is literally on Ecamm Live. I've got every single type of knob you can fidget with, brightness, saturation, it's right down the middle. I haven't touched any of it. And if you go back to the Brio, you'll see here that this is uh, the Brio where I have fiddled just a little bit just to quickly get it there. Um, I even decided to set up a side-by-side -side comparison so you can get a bit of a vibe. Um, this is on... Uh, my left, I think the lighter one would be the Logitech Brio, and then here on the right would be the iPhone. I'm so, I'm sort of trying to look into each camera. So this is me looking into the iPhone webcam, and now this is me looking into the Logitech uh, Brio again, just to give you a sample of what it looks like. Um, back to the Brio as as a final shot to give you a clue, and then over to the Elgato app, which is on the iPhone, turning the iPhone into a webcam, into eCam as a virtual cam. And now I'm sitting here struggling to figure out if I should use this one, the iPhone app, as my main webcam, because essentially it's the same thing to plug in, right? I clip the Logitech Brio on the top of the MacBook, or I just clip uh, my iPhone onto this mini tripod that I have and potentially use this as my main camera. And then I can switch over to my Brio as a secondary shot. Obviously, I wouldn't have it set up like this. It's, it's way too similar. And again, just final side-by-side -side comparison. This is me looking directly into the Logitech. And now this is me looking directly into the iPhone webcam. Um, I have to say that this is a, a pretty surprising result. Um, I'm very excited about this. The app was like 10 bucks max. I think it's cheaper in USD. Um, just, wow. Again, I was using the Elgato Stream Deck over here to switch stuff over. And think about it, right? I could take that iPhone, use it as a secondary camera, use it as an overhead. I can use it to sort of show the room. Uh, but, but the results are really surprising. The iPhone cameras are great and clearly better than generic desk webcam and just clearly be better as, as far as I can see right now in terms of um, the, this Logitech uh, webcam that's down here. So again, Elgato is just doing a lot of favors here. It's, it's really, really cool to see.